Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. I've had a busy day, but it's a good day. We're alive, right? And um, we're going to react to a video. It's a video that I've partially seen, but it's a topic that pisses me off, be, um, to be honestly, because I did not know. I did not know. And this is about honoring the Filipinos that fought in World War II for America. And um, they were promised stuff, and it wasn't delivered by the United States government. And this story needs to be told. A lot of people do not know this story, uh, and it needs to be told. So they were promised uh, health benefits. Um, they were promised citizenship. They were promised their families were going to be taken care of. They were promised education. And uh, the promise did not come through. And it was something on the north of 250,000 Filipinos fought for the United States. And they were promised these things. And it did not come through. And I did not know this. Growing up in my education system, this wasn't mentioned. Not mentioned at all. I found this video um, on, on YouTube. And I dug into it, I looked into it further, and it's absolutely true, and it breaks my heart that these Filipinos were promised this. Over 50,000 of them died, and they were dis so disrespected that they uh, did not receive what they were told they were getting received. So we need to make this known. So hopefully you, you, I don't know if you can enjoy this reaction. I don't know how you could, you know, because it's so sad. But hopefully... Um, this reaction does something for you. Definitely share the reaction, but we're going to check this video out. We're going to react to it. I've seen parts of it, not all of it. So, let's do this. America is blindsided with respect to Filipino veterans. Americans blindsided, he said, to Filipino people that fought. Many people don't know that the United States had in their ranks during World War II, several hundred thousand Filipinos who fought for America. It's a lot. The story has to be told, it's just so we never made it. It will never be forgotten. Yes. My name is Celestino G. Almeida. I was born June 8, 1917. I was commissioned as third lieutenant when I was called to active duty. And so today I am 100 years old and four months. And that breaks my heart. You know, he's a hundred, over a hundred years old, waiting 75 years later, and the promises never came through. Never came through. Like, doesn't that rip you apart? Doesn't that piss you off? Um, I know if you're Filipino, it definitely pisses you off, and it definitely pisses me off. Um, and it makes me very, very ashamed of what the government promised and what the government did not uh, deliver. It, it, it needs to be known. This needs to be known, so this video needs to be shared. It needs to be shared. The story needs to be shared, at least. Don't let people forget, but let's keep going on with the video. Um, this, is, this story has just pissed me off. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. My name is Remy Hill Kabakar, a native of the Philippines. I'm 90 years old at the present time. But when I joined the military, I was just 17. Just 17? <sighs> it says, as the war escalated in 1941, President Roosevelt commanded the armed forces of the Philippines to serve alongside the U.S. armed forces. In return, Roosevelt made a promise. He said, I give to the people of the Philippines my solemn pledge that their freedom will be redeemed and their independence established and protected. But that's not all he promised. It's not all he promised. Whenever the President uh, of the United States orders you on active duty to be mobilized to defend the United States, it is inherent within that order that you will be provided with benefits following the war. They were promised citizenship, See? health benefits, 
education benefits and, and they were promised that their families would be taken care of and they'd be able to come to the U.S. or if they didn't want to, at least they'd be given some monetary compensation. Right. Many Filipinos right. uh, joined with that understanding that they would be treated as a full uh, American military veteran. Should be! You should be! You should be! If you're laying your blood down on the line for a country, you're one of them! You're one of us! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the United States was built on immigration. It was. And these Filipinos are dying and, and they're being lied to. Lied to. Ten hours after the Pearl Harbor attack began, J Japan bombed Manila, forcing American and Filipino soldiers to the Bata Bataan Peninsula. <sighs> it's got my blood boiling. Together they held the peninsula for three months. Japan forced 75,000 American and Filipino soldiers on the death march. An estimated 10,000 American and Filipino soldiers died during the brutal ordeal. They would march prisoners from sunrise to sunset. Uh, the Japanese would very cruelly either bayonet them or, or behead them on the spot. The survivors yeah. of that uh, are incredible men who were able to persevere through all of that. And my father, you ask him, how, how did you survive the death march? You know, and he would also say, you know, I was, I was, I was never going to quit. Uh, I, I was never going to give him that satisfaction. Can't quit. My husband, Jesse Malaris Baltazar, would say so many people ask me, do you hate the, the, the Japanese for what they all did and what you all went through? And he says, no, I don't hate the, the Japanese because war brings out the wow. worst in people. Wow. But it also brings out the best in people. And I and he has a point. He has a point. Like, if I'm getting put through this, I'm sorry, but I'm probably gonna hate you. Um, how, I don't know how you could not, but this man's this man's a hero. He knows more than I know. I, I can learn from this man. Um, I, I, don't, I just don't know how you couldn't couldn't hate him. But like she said, it brings out the best in people. The, you know, the, it just does. I have seen many, many good things they call More than 260,000 Filipinos fought with the U.S. in World War II. Over 57,000 were died. After the war, President Harry Truman signed the Recession Act of 1946, stripping Filipino troops of the benefits promised by President Roosevelt. And I've lost absolutely every bit of respect for Harry Truman. That is uncalled for. You, you cannot do that. You cannot put people through this, put their lives on the line. They're fighting, they're fighting for freedoms. They're fighting for their families. They're fighting for a country. They're fighting for their country. They're fighting, they're fighting on a lie. On a damn lie. So Truman, you've lost all my respect. It's out of here. Instead, the U.S. gave the Commonwealth Army of the Philippines uh, 200 million. The decision to rescind the benefits that were promised them was really a, a heartbreaking blow. Hell yes, it and, was. Uh, one that uh, uh, was really treated with, with disbelief. This is where we come in as the Field Veteran Group to petition Congress that they be given recognition for their wartime. What a great I group. I don't know exactly why. You see, because that America is turning away from us. It was not fair if you look up what they did. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Exactly. Veterans immediately began. I don't know why. Greed? And, and fighting to get the restoration of the rights that they were due to them as, as veterans. We did lobby, and there was that time when we demonstrated. We chained ourselves to defend and the White House because we were not given equal opportunity to air our side. The police came and said, sorry, we have to take you to the police prison because you violated a social order. The struggle of democracy. 
screw a social order. They they arrested these guys. They're supposed to be held up as heroes, and they arrested these guys because they're fighting on a promise that was promised to them. Like, this story needs to be told. This needs to be an outrage. I don't care that it's more than 75 years later. It needs to be told today. It does not need to be forgotten. I'm telling you. Because I didn't know. I didn't know. I did not know until today. I did not know. I don't know if you know, but now you do if you didn't know. And this story needs to be told. There needs to be an outrage. There actually needs to be, there needs to be a movement, I think. Because this is damn ridiculous. The demonstration continued until finally Congress decided to cave in. How'd they cave in? Uh, 2014. Uh, a group of us established the Filipino Veterans Recognition Education Project uh, principally to focus on having Congress pass the Congressional Gold Medal Act for the Filipino Veterans of World War II. This gold medal represents recognition from the American people that the Filipinos were part of the victory over the Japanese in World War II. They shouldn't have to take it though, you know? Not only did the Filipinos fought in the war, they aged to 90 and 100 years old and they're fighting for recognition. They shouldn't have to fight for that. That should be given. I mean, if you have to fight for it and then, and then the government says, okay, we recognize you. I mean, that takes away from it. It takes away from it. You do good for somebody, you're promised from somebody and you do, you lay your life down. You shouldn't have to fight for that. So that pisses me off and it should piss you off it like and it doesn't make up for it because they were promised all these great things like health insurance or health care schooling we're gonna give you money for your family if you want to come over here and be a citizen you can you know that's just a medal that that it sounds like the government didn't want to give in the first place. So what's it really count for? It's you know, it yeah, it's it's good. You know, you have you have this. You know, you're a relative of somebody that died. You have a medal. You can you can tell a story, but it doesn't make up for the fact that these Filipino men that fought in this war was disrespected. I'm sorry, but that's effed up. And it represents the valor. It represents the yes, bravery. it does. It represents the sacrifice. But it doesn't make up for just it. Just the Filipino soldiers, but of the Filipino people who suffered so much during World War II. Through their efforts and through the blood that they shed, the Filipinos hadn't fought so hard and so right. in resisting the Japanese. The war in the Pacific might have taken a completely different turn. If you were 20 years old in 19. Absolutely. How old are you today in 2017? A lot of these veterans wanted to live to see this day. It's been 75 years in the making. 75 years <sighs> that we've waited for this. Thankfully, President Obama signed into legislation the Filipino Congressional Gold Medal Act, which now grants the Congressional Gold Medal to these worthy veterans. I mean, and that is, that, don't get me wrong, that is awesome, because that's another battle that these Filipinos, you know, fought for and won. But they shouldn't have had to fight for it. That's my point. That's, that's my point. It takes away from it. You know, you lay your life down for me, I'm going to thank you in any way I can. You know what I mean? It's just so wrong. In receiving the Congressional Medal, I wish to let it be known that this is not only my triumph to receive the medal, but the triumph of my colleagues. Yes, who sir. With me, but unluckily, they passed away. It's too bad he's not here to right to uh, to receive it himself. But um, it was very important to him, and I'm, I feel <sighs> very proud to, to to receive this gift. I wish he could have it, but. Um, I have my sons with me, and and, uh, and it means it means a lot. It'll be a bittersweet moment to to be there and not have my father there. I know my father will be uh, smiling down from heaven, I and mean, this would be just an extremely proud uh, proud day for him. And I'm sure this young generations will look back or ask themselves questions. My father, 
my grandfather. Right. Finally, they are being recognized. As the same goes, all soldiers never die. They just fade away. Oh, and that's that's a that's a tear jerking saying. Old soldiers never die. They just fade away. And we we got to make that statement not true. We can't let them fade away. Uh, whether it be memory, we gotta we gotta continue them in memory. We do. So, I mean, you've seen my reaction throughout. I don't really have anything else to say. It pisses me off. These guys had to fight two battles: the war and the battle to be recognized, and they shouldn't have had to fight in the second battle. And if they're gonna be lied to, they shouldn't have had to fight in the first battle unless they wanted to. But. That's my thoughts. What's your thoughts? Recommend or let me know what you're thinking down below. Definitely share the video. Uh, it's important too. And um, that's all I got to say. If you want to join the Max Reaction family, please do so. But for now, I'll see you next time. Salamat po.